Hey everyone, this is Scott White and Kivowitz. Today we're going to talk about internal linking. Now, I want to talk about more specifically smart internal linking. Because you could easily link internally using any word, any link. Uh, it's, you know, really doesn't matter. But there's a better way to go about it to really optimize for SEO. So check this out. We are on the SEO for Photographers website. And I put here uh, a draft email, uh, post blog article in WordPress and also uh, two sentences, two very short phrases. Now the first one says click here to view the link building hub. Now this method, what you would do is you would most likely take the click here and then find the link for the link building hub. And then you would, uh, you know, connect that and call it a day. So here it is and I'd add the link. And now if I go to the, the visual, you can see click here is the actual link. Now the better way to do this, a smarter way to use link, uh, to use internal linking for SEO is to actually t rephrase it. So it, instead of it saying click here to view the link building hub, you can say check out the link building hub for more information. So by doing that, I now have link building hub as the uh, as the link. So I can do the same thing, find link building hub, connect it, and now you can see that I have click here on the first phrase, which is the internal link, and the second phrase, link building hub, is the internal link. Now what this is doing is you're actually using the anchor text that you want for your page. So for example, if you are writing an article on your own site and your home page is, um, let's say your home page is Phoenix baby photographer, what I would say to do is um, write, um, let's say you're writing a sentence about being a Phoenix baby photographer. Here we go as a sentence. If you are looking for Phoenix baby photographer, then don't hesitate to give me a call today. Now, this is a great call to action. You can even include your, um, your phone number. So let's say that's your phone number. Um, you can include that at the end as well, so that way they see your phone number. You can even bold it as well, just for an extra visual. Because when you're doing SEO, it's also good to mix in some user experience because you want it to be visual, you want it to be readable, and more for humans than you do want it for search engines. However, it's also important, obviously, for SEO. So what you're going to do is here, this Phoenix Baby Photographer, you're going to put in your domain. So that way it's, let's say your domain is phoenixbabyphotographer.com. So now you're going to internal link to your home page if that is the page for your uh, for your for your keyword of Phoenix Baby Photographer. Or if it's not, you can even switch that. So let's say it's yourdomain.com slash Phoenix Baby Photographer. Let's say you have a landing page specific to that. So you want to make sure that whatever um, link that you're doing internally, you're doing the same thing as you would do externally if you were writing a guest article trying to link back to your own website. So you want to make sure that the text that you're using, the anchor text, is correct for the right landing page. I hope that's helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and let me know. Thanks for watching.